The doors were originally part of the church, but were given away years ago. They recently made their way back home. They fit beautifully. They just, they're perfect. They're the perfect addition for this church. And it's, it is, it's kind of fun to think that they really have come home and they belong here. It's been a long, detailed task to restore this historic church that sits on Main Street. These ceilings here. Jerry Finn has been raising tall. funds for years through Friends of the Town Clock Church group. One of the pieces that we are trying very hard to make happen is an underground railroad gardens behind the church. So far, they've repainted the interior, added new entrance doors, and are currently in the process of restoring the stained glass windows. I'll lead you the way to the tunnel. In March, the church was designated as a network to freedom so site with the there. National Park Service for its role in helping slaves escape the South through the Underground forward. Railroad. They were recently awarded a grant for tuck pointing the brick, which is a crucial part in the restoration process. I don't know if it's ever been done, uh, but we know there are a lot of places on the church where the mortar has come out, it's very porous, water gets in, and then it affects these plaster walls. They received $15,940 from the National Park Service and will have to match that amount dollar for dollar to repair the mortar.